to studio renovation vlogs. So we've cleared the area out. We need to get rid of the insulation boards. They are actually up here. So if you look up here, we don't have boards anymore, which is great. The next thing to do is to clear the floor, make it all nice and clean. We need to clean the walls and we need to clean the roof because it is gross at the minute. But it's getting exciting because you can actually see what's going on in here now. And it's all coming together and the plans are forming in my head. Our next job after that will be to organise how to replace the doors because we've actually got some patio doors which are spare. They were in the other um, shed, which you might see at the beginning of this series. Uh, this is staying in here, this needs doing up. Uh, but I think I'm going to put wheels on it, but depending on what the floor is going to look like, because at the moment it goes up high like this at this side and then there's like a stage here so this is where i'm planning on having a curved wall uh, it'll be an infinity wall on this wall so i'll scoop down there and then come to here or maybe a bit further depending on how we build it and it also come down this wall and scoop down and it's just going to be one big white infinity wall you can see how uneven the floor is it goes whoop. so that's another thing to get over. We're going to get rid of this insulation because it's a bit thick and I want to make it flush. I want to change this glass, so this is like a frosted glass, if you come closer you can see it's a really nice patterned glass. In fact it's on the outside isn't it? But this will add a bit of extra light in when I change the glass and it also needs switching around because whoever built this put it on the wrong way so you actually have to open it from the outside. <laughs> so we need to switch that around at some point. The other thing as well I've been thinking about is the door needs, the frame needs changing. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Um, you can see it's all rotted here at the bottom. I'm thinking this beam here, if I've got the infinity wall here then I could probably hang some sort of a frame of lights from here, depending on what I want to create. So this is quite good because it means that I can have a different space and keep my lights out of the way. Today, is actually organise the stuff that's outside because if you watch the last vlog we actually emptied it onto the driveway and put a tarpaulin over the top of it. We need to move that from the driveway and put it into my granddad's shed so it doesn't get all ruined because there's some stuff that he wants to keep and some stuff that he doesn't want to keep so we're going to do that today. We're going to remove this and then yeah clean it. So let's get going. So Jack's just put on the laser so you can Rosie <laughs> it's on her. So that's how much you would have to do to level it out. Yeah. Going, going. Go. Go. Hey, go. does that move? Yeah, hey. Oh, that looks loads better already. So we are just drilling through the wall to see where the lintel needs to be put for the door because the beam is a bit too low so we're trying to maybe dig down outside so my granddad's just drilling i'm not sure where it's going to come out oh, there it is so we're going to measure from here because this brick's going to be the lintel layer it's lower actually than i expected it's been a few hours now and not actually much has happened in here because we've been trying to organize what I'm going to be doing with the floor, the roof and everything and things keep changing. I think that's what's going to happen during this whole project because I'm learning new things daily when it comes to planning and organizing this. Uh, but we're going to try and do it as quick and easy as possible. We've organized what we need to buy for the ceiling, we've also organized what we need to buy for the floor. So my granddad's going to buy that because he used to work at Travis Perkins years and years ago and he gets employee discount still, which means I'm going to get all the um, all of the materials cheaper, which is great. So my granddad's going to organise that. The next job is to clean the roof, um, get rid of all of these dangly bits, cobwebs. I'm going to blow it all out.
binds down. So you pull this and it cuts it. So you put the vine through there. has been removed. 